In almost every industry, images and video are being used to extract meaningful contextual information from the physical world. Join experts from AWS and TIBCO as they discuss best practices for making best use of the explosive growth in image data. So we talk about uh, you know abstraction layers, uh, building block approach, right? And but when it comes down to the lack of standardization on let's say protocols and data formats, and so, so how do you prepare for that today, or how do you go about that to uh, you know today, knowing that you know the, the the number of type of computer vision devices and IoT devices overall is just going to continue to evolve and grow and change. How do you know about that? Yeah, that, that, I think there's two aspects to that. I'll start and then I'm sure there, uh, there'll, be, there'll be lots of, there's lots of elements to think about with that particular question. Um, you have to look at it almost in two lines of thought, right? There's the one line of thought that from an industry standpoint or a community standpoint, how do we evolve um, the standards or specifications that different devices and, and different interfaces and APIs and things like that are, are using or exposing? And so that, that's one element of it. And you know that's related to technology, but it's also an industry and community driven initiative as well. And I think that that is one thing that has to happen. And you know, again, with the work that we do and the work that AWS does and, and kind of gluing those components together as Michael was talking about, we can help facilitate and help to drive some of the ways in which those interfaces are created and defined and with the hopes of standardizing and, and creating these normalized ways of communicating between components. Um, and then the other side, of course, is the technical side. So, you know, how do you deal with all the different protocols and device interfaces and, you know, those kinds of things? Um, I, I normally will talk about get, get that abstraction layer um, as close to that, that device, if you will, uh, as possible. And so that everything after that abstraction layer really doesn't know specifically what it was that it was talking to, right? It's dealing with a, an abstracted uh, definition of what the data elements are, or, you know, it doesn't know what the exact camera was or the exact, uh, you know, device was that it was actually working with. And you want to get that abstraction layer as close to that, that end uh, as you can so that everything after mm -hmm. that is effectively, you're dealing with something that's a little more standardized and normalized. So those are just a couple of things to start with. I think we're coming up with a new term, abstraction at the edge. I like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs>